mean, 88 is pretty good, yeah. Chat, we continue the world final. This time over on the North American and Middle East side of the bracket. We have Evo versus Yaya. And you might be wondering, why is it Yaya and not Rawas? And that would be a great thing to wonder. But it turns out Rawas had another tournament he had agreed to today. Him and the rest of the players who got tied for third in the event. He's actually teaming with Killeers and NWPO who both got third in the Middle East event, who were gonna be first to replace Rawas in the Worlds. But, they also couldn't play it for the same exact reason. So, we've got Yaya, who's got another chance at going home with some glory. In fact, bigger prize pools here in the World event. If he can make it past Evo, he's got Fahad waiting for him in the semifinal. So the winner of this game will be playing Fahad for a chance in the World Final, as well as $700 at least if you win that semifinal game. Evo is the North American regional champ, taking down Cam. Cam, unfortunately, out of the event after his loss to Fahad. We will see if he can represent North America a lot. I mean, I tell you what, North America is certainly going to catch some heat if the tied for fifth place uh, player Yaya from the Middle East takes him down. We will have to come up with so many different excuses, but us, us NA fans, we're great at it. Top tier. Best copiumers in the game. So don't worry. We'll figure it out. Let me help you out, just in case it happens. Uh, Yaya is used to playing on EU servers. It doesn't matter that Evo actually has similar, maybe even better ping. There's a great one for you US fans, or sorry, NA fans. If Evo is unable to take care. That being said, we are at the start of the match. And Evo is tied with Yaya, flip reset. His musty is low. Yaya will save it away, trying to look for a quick counter. And Evo might have left the net open. The fake, it'll roll in behind. 3-2 as Yaya taking an early lead. Evo, is he sweating at all? Not likely. Evo doesn't seem to be a guy who's affected too much by uh, small leads. That being said, he has been known to maybe tilt out as soon as somebody gets big separation. Evo, that's a great flip reset. Keeping Yaya grounded as he gets a nice air roll shot to the top right corner. Another thing that Evo is known to do is have the stream open. So <laughs> he has maybe heard me talk about him for the past minute and 15 seconds. It'll be interesting to know whether or not Evo thinks a tournament setting like this is worthy to turn the stream off or is there a world where these players actually feel like they play it better when listening to the game yeah yeah bumped away had some open field in front of him evo takes it away not in the conventional way but instead just by moving yaya off his line his air dribble intercepted evo will be attacking through the air a lot in this match if he sticks to what he's normally good at. Yaya, bounce dribble, Evo covers it well. Yaya has been doing a good job. Low 15, throwing fakes, things like that to get Evo to miss. But Evo's defense in the past few weeks, past few show matches and tournament games has looked really, really good. As I say that, he left potentially a bit of an open net. Yaya couldn't get the tight angle. So Evo now. A wall to air dribble. He doesn't bump Yaya. He almost pulled off of the bump. I can't imagine why he wouldn't want to try and finish that out. It, it seemed like he could have taken Yaya out of the net and had an easy goal. But one thing we used to see from Evo a lot is air dribble bumps. He was one of the best at it. He loved to take people out high in the air too when they tried to pre-jump him. But we haven't seen that from him in a long time. Evo doesn't seem to want to go to the uh, air dribble bump for whatever reason. Yaya, another fake. That's what I'm talking about. Fakes around the net have gone really well for Yaya. So why not keep to them? Evo missing that midfield boost. 
but doesn't want to give up on this possession. It is a good opportunity for him. He can't find the double, and now he'll be forced back into his own half. A well-timed interception at the midfield boost. Potentially going to let him keep control. This one's cleared to the back wall. Yaya not going to let him have it for free, but misses his touch. Evo, man. He just he is going pixels away from these 100 boosts without picking them up. Doesn't seem like that's necessarily what he's doing on purpose. Oh, yeah, yeah, the fakes on the goal line. I tell you what, Evo, who has known to tilt a little bit, fakes are definitely the best way to score on him. Nothing gets somebody going more than getting scored on by a fake time and time again. Evo. Touch from the side wall. Trying to get Yaya to fall down off the wall. Not be able to intercept the shot. But he did send it high. Evo, this is a very impressive play. I did not expect Yaya to not be able to save this. But it's placed so well. Even though Yaya has some boost, he can't turn and flip to the ball in time. Evo tapping this one away. Playing a bit of a risk as he didn't have much boost at midfield. Yaya had control. Evo challenging early now. He's had enough of getting faked on the goal line. He's going to bring the game to Yaya. Evo cannot get this pass, though. Rolling it underneath. The open field has been good for Evo. He's been quick, but he can't get a strong enough shot this time. The ball high. Did Evo just resist going up to meet it in the air? He did, and the low 50. A sign of potentially maturing Evo, who normally has to go for that clip. That was not uh, an impossible setup to get a triple flip reset from. But Evo plays it on the ground. Tying the game, 43 seconds left to go. Evo, a nice 50. Yaya's had these really good recoveries, but it's not going to be good enough this time because the shot is just way too strong. Yaya has been losing a lot of midfield challenges, and the reason why I say he has good recoveries is because he hasn't really been scored on them too terribly. It's forcing Evo to get the most perfect of shots in order to get it past. Kickoff goal for Evo. Not expecting that to go in, just wants to put Yaya in a defensive sequence, and Yaya actually made a big mistake hitting the inside of that post. Evo, 7-5. Yaya, not a lot to react with there. Evo winning this into Yaya's half, but Yaya will get control. Taking this dribble high. I mean, Yaya is panicking right now. And it doesn't seem like he needed to. Evo wasn't going to be putting a lot of pressure on. He would have let Yaya carry his dribble for free. And Evo, this huge pre-jump to stop the power shot. He didn't land well in the net. <laughs> the flick is going to go in, but it's going to go in at zero seconds, which means no time to get another. <laughs> oh, that Yaya. That would have been so funny if Yaya flicked into that pre-flip or to that pre-jump. But he didn't. Instead, he plays it slow. Evo gets the win, just barely has the edge in game number one. Game two, Evo able to regain late in the first one. Yaya was controlling the first few minutes of the game before Evo finally took the lead, ending just one goal up. He'll start this game with an air dribble flip reset. Doesn't score and can't get back. Oh my goodness, he almost did have it though. That was actually crazy. I'm going to watch it from Yaya's perspective. Did it look like it was almost saved from here? Oh, man. Yeah, he just pushed it off the post. It still had enough forward momentum. Evo. A tap. Slow roll to the net. Yaya, great recovery. We've seen that from him all game long.
Evo possession play into his half. Yaya pressuring. Not going to let him get the dribble started that he wanted. Interesting pre-flip from Evo to tap the ball. Really nowhere special. Yaya will then immediately flick on net. Go up 2-0. Yaya pop high. Will he stay with this ball? At least for one more touch. As he tries to dive and take Evo's boost, he succeeds. A nice bump on Evo. Did he stop him from being able to get the quick shot the other way? He did. And that has been Yaya's MO. Despite diving in deep, he has always made it back. Evo, this is his perfect spot. He loves to be in this situation. He will go air dribble bump this time. But gets himself too far ahead of the ball. Yaya can save it off the back wall. Evo losing control of the ball. Wave dashing his way down the field. The wall dashes get himself a goal. He didn't want to use the 40 boost. So he just wall dashes to keep himself with momentum. He also maybe could have just driven. I think he was at supersonic speed. But maybe not, you know, let's let's not discredit it. Great play. Gets himself a goal. Yeah, yeah, bumped. Jordan, a.k.a. Evo, cannot sneak it in. Oh, what a great hook shot. 3-1. Yeah, yeah, just a great touch to set that up. 116 kilometer per hour shot. That's going to be a hard one to save. Yeah, yeah, with another early lead in the game. Evo able to come back last time. But certainly not a position he'll get away with playing in every single game in this match. Evo did not shoot that quick enough to punish. Yeah, 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 yeah almost got there again. Another great recovering save, but not quite enough as his backflip does not clear it. Just lobs it high for Evo to score. Yaya trying to take it full field. Doesn't get his flip reset, but might be able to fight Evo off the ball or tap it above him. Not a bad adjustment to what happened. Seemed like he was looking for the flip reset, but when it didn't happen, ball's in front, and for a slight moment, threatens that demo, which means Evo can't turn and challenge, and then just comes back to the ball and gives it one last pop. Evo with the camera work off the kickoff. You always see it from him to see if they're coming to dive him on the side wall. He's got his flip reset. He'll wade it to the ground. Yaya yeah, does his best not to get beat low, but the back flip will not save him. Coming off the side wall is so hard to save a low shot. And Yaya is no exception. 4-3. Still the lead though for Yaya halfway through the game. Yaya sticking with this dribble. Seemed like there was probably some opportunities to take it away if you're Evo. He's playing very passive on the goal line right now. Yaya scoops it away off the post and he gets a fifth. Evo just picking up pads, playing all the way back on the goal line. Yaya, nice recognition of the final power slide of Evo. Had himself pointed to that right post, so he cuts it to the left. Evo the quick camera check. He sees Yaya is coming in to dive early this time. And he swings wide to fully secure this. I felt like he definitely could have played that second touch faster if he felt like he needed to. But instead, he secures it. Swings into it. Nice and slow. Has himself back down one. Yaya going to pick up the boost. Doesn't matter. Evo's going to keep the pressure on and he's rewarded with a back corner as Yaya had to swing high around it. Evo the save. 
He is trying not only to get the save, but to buy himself a possession out of it. Yaya staying aggressive. Evo should win the race to the midfield boost again. So now Yaya on the back line. Evo trying to just speed it past him, but too much bouncing. Was likely going to need to get a direct power shot for that to work. Evo, wait a second. I thought Evo was pulling off the ball because he decided it was not in. He is jumping to clear this one. Oh, no, he, he just couldn't get there. I wonder if he kept ball cam on and actually fully boosted to it because all he did was feather his boost on the way to net. Yaya yeah, with space. Doesn't need to take this to Evo if he doesn't want, but he is going to. High chip. Although he gets the last bounce, Evo takes him off the map. Evo likely going to need to score in this opportunity. It's a great scoring chance for him. He needs two goals in a minute. He's going to try and fall down from the skies and demo Yaya. And it's not going to work. His air dribble bumps haven't been there today. You need to be flying directly behind those balls to make sure... <laughs> that you can demo the defender. And he hasn't been doing that. He has been separating himself way too much. 41 seconds, three goals to get. Not impossible for Evo to do. Yaya is gonna let him have the first, it seems. Oh no, not a strong enough touch. He got wheels first. Yaya will send it away. That will likely be it. Evo needed that one bad. Yaya is going to tie up the series. Eight, I mean, I don't know. 23 seconds. Maybe not. Let's wait just a little bit. Let's learn our lesson, why don't we? Evo still in it. Direct kickoff goal. He doesn't have the boost to get back to it. Now it is certainly a win for Yaya. So there it is. Series tying game. 1-1. A best of three from here on out to see which one of these guys get a chance to play Fahad in the semifinal. Eva will get a fifth. <laughs> GG's from both these guys. Where is Rawas? Exclamation point Rawas. Swarl's in charge. Probably just got his exclamation point Rawas on repeat every 45 seconds. It's understandable. Yes, I am, Acro. Game number three. Yaya and Evo. Can Evo regain from game number two? A missed wave dash leaves the net fairly open, but Yaya, luckily for him, was in a bit of a slow startup. Doesn't end up mattering though. Still able to pop it over Evo. Evo having to recover late from the back corner. Decided to try an early challenge. Yaya would tap it over him. Evo, strong power shots. Not gonna work though. A retreating defender had more than enough time. Not the first time Evo's tried to just speed it past Yaya but he has had really really good goal line retreats Evo says can't save it if you're not alive though the ground bump will work the air triple bumps haven't been working great for him this time he'll roll into him on the ground Yaya, his flick sent away. Just trying to get Evo into a defensive sequence. But Evo is out of it quickly. Now he's got himself an air dribble right where he wants to be. The air dribble bump this time, once again, does not connect. Air dribble bumps for Evo haven't been there. He stays aggressive, tries to turn and get a goal. And doing so means he'll get scored on. An all-in play on that second attempt. Evo likely knew what he was going for not one to take it easy though appreciates a good risk Evo nice read of the fake kickoff flick to the post sent away 
Evo should be able to win the race to the corner boost, or he can just fight Yaya off the ball. He didn't get the pop he needed, though, and now he might be getting scored on. No, it's wide. Evo taking Yaya off the map. Won't be able to get around this and shoot before the respawn. So instead, plays a little bit slow and baits Yaya out. This is great timing from Evo. He takes the early shot, and Yaya gets the save without even having to think. But by playing it slow, Yaya's going to creep out after the respawn and put himself out of position. Evo, nice snipe. Power shot of the kickoff. Far post. Yaya, even though it gets sent right over, cannot make the save. Just enough behind him. Yaya from the wall. Has to use the flip early to get back to the ball. The slow plays have been working. Slow plays and fakes. Not only are they a little bit easier to execute, but they're also a little bit safer. So Yaya likely to stick with them. Just continue to come out to the ball for the most part only to show pressure, make Evo think he can't challenge, and then let the ball bounce. 3-3. That ground shot, definitely not what Yaya was looking for. Probably trying to get it off the bounce. But instead, it rolls for as easy a possible save. Yaya, his dribble eaten up by Evo. Evo able to get out to the midfield boost to take the 100. Yaya might get a quick shot, though. A 4-3 lead. Evo thought it was worth it. To try and dip out to grab the 100. Had faith in himself to get back in time, but flopping on top of Yaya. He can't get the save. 4 3. Halfway through the game, another lead for Yaya early in a game. It's happened every one so far. He was able to hold on to it in game two. Will he hold on to it in game three? Evo says you're not going up two goals. The goal line pinch off the post keeps himself in the game a little bit longer. That was not a close shot, but Yaya almost got back, man. He had no business being in the realm of this save after the missed air dribble bump attempt. He didn't realize that the ball was not headed to the net, but he caught himself really well and actually almost had a chance at getting that save, which is just ridiculous. Two minutes on the clock. Strong touch from Yaya. Likely just going to result in a clear. Evo not putting that ball in a good spot. Forced himself off the back wall. Having to use tons of boost. Just to prevent the easy goal from Yaya. And now he's stuck on defense. So not the best of plays. Evo throwing away a possession. And Yaya will instantly capitalize. He has had great reads, though, on this fake kickoff. He's going to get an instant goal from that. Apparently, Yaya not committing to it enough to fake Evo. Even the flip won't move the name tag enough for him to not recognize. Evo, the classic kickoff win and the camera check. Always looking. Something that not every player does. Evo's always been one of the more camera work heavy players. 5-5, five, five. Yaya on a high bounce. He'll drop it to the ground. This time he flicks it past. Evo having to give him space and time as he picks up the Hunter boost. The retreat back to the ball is going to be easy to read for Yaya. Evo with control. Has a minute. Needs to get his goal back. The air dribble bump. This time it works. This is a great setup. A really good, you know, compartmentalized situation to get one of these. You know you're on kickoff. The defender had to just pick up boost in the corner. 
The position, really easy to control. Evo's not going to mess up in those situations. Six six, another immediate kickoff from Evo. Maybe not the best of shots. Was trying to see if he could get Yaya starved out, but Yaya is able to get the save easily. Grab a hundred and take possession. Evo taking Yaya off the map. Can he get the quick shot? The first touch. Yes, the second will be there too. Evo a seven six lead. Trying to clutch it up here in the final minute, but still loads of time. Forty seven seconds. Yaya could take it right back. Hootie, thank you for the raid. Much appreciated. Yaya yeah, yeah. trying to get the delayed flick to find the bottom corner. Doesn't connect. Evo pre flipping to take the boost. Such aggressive play from him. The kind of stuff that wasn't working for him earlier, but now it's working well. He rolls it across the goal line. Yaya yeah, yeah. gonna be able to pick up a hundred. Take it down to the other side of the field. Evo needs to have solid defense. He didn't get 100 here. Yaya, his flick off the crossbar and the continuation for a seven. Corelli, thank you for the raid as well. Sounds like the Joya's Wisty game is over. You'll be here with me for the rest of the Fear Fest through the semifinals and final. One of these two going up 2-1 in the series. Evo, the power shot. It's strong enough to just make it right past Yaya. Yaya is there. Not able to pick up anything but one pad on the way back. And he just drove himself too far into the net. He was never going to be able to get a save to jump and turn. Even with loads of boost, it's hard to get your car back to the goal line after driving too deep. So Evo, can he play defense for the next two seconds? Yeah, yeah, his flick, that's high. He's not going to need to, but he caught it. Oh, no. GG's from both these guys. Evo will take the 2-1 lead, giving himself two opportunities to get himself to the semifinal. Evo needs a sec. Chat, we all get a breather. What's going on, chat? We got a couple raids here a second ago. Thanks for coming to hang out. Uh, Corelli, thanks for covering the games again today. I very much appreciate that. Uh, chat, how'd it go? How did the, the other two games go? I saw Fahad got the sweep against Cam. How'd the Joya's Wisty game go? Sorry about mixing up the times. No worries, man. You, you were right on time. After the reminder, so. <laughs> Joya's was toying with Wisty. Well. You never know how it's going to go on those off servers, but I mean, Joya's is certainly a favorite against Wisty. Joy has had a good time in free play. <laughs> Joy is literally cyberbullied. All right. <laughs> that doesn't sound too great for Wisty. Evo and Yaya. These guys in game four. Evo trying to hold it down for NA. Give himself an opportunity against the number one ranked Middle East player in the game right now. At least I think he is. Has Khaled taken back control? It's either Khaled or Fahad. Evo, a high pop to clear himself. Or sorry, to clear the ball, give himself some time. Zero boost. Covering the fake. Yaya's been faking a lot. This time Evo doesn't commit too hard. Make sure he's there for the low play as well. Evo, the defense strong to start the game. It be Caleb, thank you for the tier one. For two months, man. Joyez was big chill, and yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, yeah. Air dribble bump. Evo cannot sneak underneath. He had a good defensive sequence to start the game, but a minute straight of playing defense is eventually going to get him scored on. Yaya has led early in all of these games, it feels like. It's just whether or not Evo is going to be able to find himself back. Yaya forced to play that kickoff quick because Evo threatening behind him. He does miss wide. Yaya, high lob as he clears out. Evo's going to be able to get whatever he wants. He power shots. That's a situation that we usually see Evo take to an air dribble, but he thought maybe he could 
catch Yaya off guard. Yaya's patient dribbles right now. It finally started to be challenged early by Evo. We saw Yaya pick him apart by getting to that spot outside the net 18 yard box and then just low 50ing and faking. Evo's had enough of that. Coming out to meet him earlier. Yaya. Bounce dribble, low 50. This is what I'm talking about. This time Evo doesn't come to meet Yaya. Let's him get to his spot. So what's he gonna do? Do what's been working for him all series long. Evo trying to get the quick kickoff win. He will force Yaya to make a save and steal his corner boost. But Yaya alive for now. Evo out to midfield. Trying to bait Yaya in. He'll go for the air dribble and Yaya able to save it away. No bump this time. Evo still on offense though. Yaya the pre-jump. Evo the soft touch, but it's off the post instead of in. Yaya playing defense backwards. It's going to be put him in a really hard situation to handle, but he bumps Yaya at the moment it seems, or sorry, he bumps Evo. At the moment, it seems like Evo finally got his opportunity. A great last second physical play to keep himself in a clean slate here. No goal scored for Evo. Over half the game in. Evo has another great opportunity here though. Yaya comes to challenge early. Both these guys with low boost on the wrong side of the ball. Evo will get a possession with all the field in the world in front of him. Yaya sets up the shadow defense. Will Evo bump? He tries to, but is there a little bit late? Evo hasn't looked as lethal in the air as we're used to seeing. Yaya not only able to scoop underneath, get the save, but also the counterattack for a third. Evo stays scoreless here in this game number four. Evo wall to air dribble. Not even going to take it. Instead, cuts in field. The ground bumps worked for him earlier. Tried again, but he actually cut it away from a shot attempt. Even if he had connected with Yaya, likely wouldn't have mattered. This flick, can he find the angle? He knew Yaya was going to go take that corner boost and give him one opportunity. But Yaya left that opportunity for a reason. That angle was going to be hard to hit. Yaya in boost, playing off pads, coming to challenge early. That 50 will send it away. Very low scoring game here in game number four. Evo not shut out on offense very often. Credit to the way that Yaya is playing this game. Taking Evo out of his comfort zone, a fourth for Yaya. Just a minute left to go. Evo's offense is gonna have to come alive like crazy. If he doesn't want to go to game five. Evo, there's the first. He'll do it with a low 50. A nice kickoff possession. Yeah, yeah, letting him get all the way to the net. He got it quick. That's the kind of goals he needs. Slight delay on the wave dash kickoff from Evo. Gonna have to try and demo Yaya, but he knows it. Jumps away and instead gets the demo himself. I wouldn't have been too surprised if Yaya had just taken that back to his half, wasted even a little bit more time, but he does cut it in field. Yaya, no need to tap this to Evo, but he does and he scores! Evo, he's out of this match. He doesn't want to wait 25 more seconds. Yaya, the nice backwards wave dash and he scores with the butt of his car. Evo can't 50 it away. Uh, I'm down to reset, but this is a pretty good server. Maybe we just wait our 25 seconds. Come on, Evo man. Scholar, the hundred dollars, trying to cheer on Evo. I think we had uh, a tier one from Scholar as well. I might have missed a couple more um, subscriptions. So I appreciate anybody who has subscribed.
Fear, think of more NA excuses. The chat might need them. Oh, chat, you guys are you guys are more than capable of coming up with NA excuses yourself. All right. Yaya wants a little bit more time <laughs> before the next game for some reason. Maybe he's just getting a new car. I mean, he he likely is. Evo does like to change cars, but he left early. E Evo joined the blue team. <laughs> He's back. He's in the Octane. He joined the blue team <laughs> to get Yaya to drop it. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Yaya gets game four. This one's headed to game five. Game five. Evo versus Yaya. North America versus Middle East. And the other North American versus Middle East match that we had, Fahad was able to take the win. The North American second seed sent home. Can Evo hold it down for North America? In his match against Yaya, he is once again going to start from behind. He has started every single game from behind, it feels. Yaya with the first goal. 12 seconds in. The fake kickoff earlier in the series read every time by Evo. This time, he slams it to the corner. Evo's turn. Yeah, yeah, I made a mistake. That'll be a first. Evo on the board early. Took him a long time to get that first goal in game number four. Likely feeling much better to tie it up quickly. Not let the game get too out of hand. Yeah, yeah, taking this back to his corner. Evo was hoping for the demo, but he'll take the boost steal. Not quite as good. But not bad. Yaya able to pick up 100, though. His shot will be saved. Evo's going to be forced into a low boost defensive sequence, though. Never mind. Carries it away quickly. Yaya on the late retreat. Maybe he shouldn't have, though. Because Evo's going to... Or, sorry. Yaya's going to score. 2-1. Evo trying to get a strong clear. Hard to do with not a lot of boost. Yaya, his ground shot, sent away. Evo just launching a shot straight at net. Has to just be hoping for a defensive mistake from Yaya or hoping to score in the continuation. He has played a really physical game today too. Always looking for the bumps and demos. Long shot. Evo should be able to get this save. And should be able to set up the offense as well. Yaya looking for the demo, and it's enough to slow him down just barely. The recoveries from Yaya continue to be perfect this time. Evo cannot clear away the shot. Yaya up 3-1. He has just had more offense here in the past few minutes of gameplay. Evo, a nice low 50. There's his second. He'll whip the camera around in celebration. Yeah, yeah, wave dash kickoff. Got himself the midfield. Evo in net again. Yeah, yeah, earlier picking him apart with the low dribbles and the fakes. This time, slapping an immediate shot. Not the best touch for Evo. But he reverses, makes something out of it. He's got Yaya on one pad, that shot wide. He's not gonna be able to get the demo or the boost grab either. Credit to Yaya, who has done a really good job this series of not getting demos. Evo is taking great opportunities to turn and try and take him out of the game. But Yaya is always aware, always getting a nice jump, always making sure he stays alive to make the play. That being said, this time he does hand it over and Evo does tie the game. 3-3. Yaya looking to flick it over the early challenge from Evo. But Evo intercepts and gets a fourth. Yaya saw Evo turning. Thought he could get a tap above, but hit it too far down. Right into the oncoming challenge. Evo with a kickoff possession. Immediate shot. Yaya's there. 
But he's hoping for a potential mistake on the save, and that's what he's got. He knows he's not going to score in the first attempt, but you never know what that defender does. Maybe they miss a wave dash, which I assume is what Yaya was going for with that side flip. And sends himself to the wrong part of the net. Evo, 5-3, another direct kickoff. This one redirected to the corner. Another demo attempt, and another time that Yaya stays alive. Bounce dribble, shot, too good. Crossbar, not quite crossbar and down, but top shelf. And Evo, he's even gonna give him a nice shot. Hard to make a read, those dribbles are very, very nice. A great 1v1 tactic. You don't need to even throw fakes. I mean, it's just a hard, hard angle to get a read and get a save on. Evo in the driver's seat, though, is something that hasn't happened in the past few games. He has had to recover late. Has the slight here with slight lead here with two minutes left to go. Had an open net there. Yaya just let him have it. Didn't score. Finally. Evo's able to demo Yaya. He's been trying all series long. He's only ever gotten a couple. This'll be one more. Yaya had no choice. I think if he jumps there, it's almost just as bad. He'll leave Evo to able to swing around and take the same kind of shot. So he took the risk and stayed grounded. Yaya should have an easy goal here though. Evo has been getting first possession on almost all these kickoffs. This time, the flick not solid and likely probably shouldn't have hunted for the demo on that one. Yaya didn't even necessarily avoid it. He was just playing a natural counterattack, which had him jumping and evading the bump. Evo off the wall. Yaya launching a great air dribble setup for him. Evo's game, surprisingly, so far, has not been the air dribble game. We are definitely seeing a different Evo than we see on our casual weekly show matches. Yaya's been doing this all series long, not gonna stop now. A nice fake and a low play. Evo goes flying by. Tie game with a minute left to go. Evo first possession again. He has been absolutely dominating on these kickoffs. I know he's not scoring all of them immediately, but I swear the last six, it feels, have been a possession first for Evo. And that's a hard thing to recover from. This time, Yaya should be in control. Evo's gonna retreat back to the corner. Yaya, the slow plays, the low 50s. They've been working great for him. So he'll do it again. Evo refuses to not jump. He has to cover these power shots, to be fair. Yaya has hit a good fair amount of these hook shot power shots as well. But definitely relying more on the low 50s in the fakes. 7-7. Seven, seven. 35 seconds on the clock. Evo swinging around Yaya's corner, looking for a bump like he seems to do almost every time. Yeah, yeah, nice pop. This should be a goal unless Evo somehow, some way flies back to this ball. 24 seconds on the clock. Evo's aggression may be forcing him to play some out of position low boost defense. Yeah, yeah, 20 seconds away from joining Fahad in the semifinal. That bump will make it a two goal lead. Evo is going to need some kickoff magic. To be fair, he has had the kickoff edge up until probably the most recent two. But not a, none of them have really been direct uh, immediate kickoffs. He just usually gets possession first and then makes a play from it. He's got himself possession here. That backflip challenge is probably it. Yeah, yeah. Will he even take another shot? No, he plays it safer. Can he get back to this? He will. Seconds off the clock. Yaya yeah. will have another chance in the Fear Fest against Fahad in the semifinal. North America is out.